And as we wait results for some of those other close races, let's get a big picture look from last night's election. The gains from the Democrats in the State House and Senate. Here to take a deeper dive in that, our chief investigative reporter, Tony Kovaleski. So um, some big surprises from last night, Tony. You know, so much to unpack here. It's been an interesting 24 hours. And, and what we're trying to answer is, why did that red wave not happen? We always talk about unaffiliated voters and their impact on election results here in Colorado. And right now I'm going to take you inside and show you on the governor's race, really what happened there and how it went statewide. You talk about a 57 to 40 race with Governor Polis winning, right? You look back historically four years ago, and how did he do in that race? Only 53, 42, so he gained ground. Why did he gain ground? These are the fascinating counties. Take a look at what happened in Douglas County. Traditionally a stronghold for Republicans, and Governor Polis won by one-tenth of one percent. Not a lot, but he won in a county that traditionally goes Red, he also, if you take a look at El Paso County, Heidi Ganahl only winning by about two percentage points there. Let's compare that to the Democratic stronghold counties and you'll see the major difference here. Boulder County, usually strong for Democrats, right? You look at these numbers, 81% for Governor Polis, clearly over indexing in that county. Usually 70 to 75 is considered a good number for a Democrat. And then take a look again in Denver. 82% for the governor. These numbers are consistent through the AG's race. They're consistent through the Senate race. Clearly, the unaffiliated voters went blue, whether that was Roe v. Wade, whether that was the de Democratic leaders in our state. But this election is being told by the unaffiliated votes and a really strong vote for the governor, the, the Democratic senator, and obviously the attorney general. So an interesting 24 hours. And Shannon? Oh, fascinating. And still more to come. Thank yeah, you, Tony. Thanks, Tony.